the modern creationism of the 21st century stripes is kind of okay with plate tectonics. They didn't start out that way. They were absolutely certain that continental drift was complete crock. Uh, he talked about Snelling using old sources. He uses the 1859 data from Antonio Snyder, which evolutionists also use today, the concept of continental sprint. Evolutionists hijacked the idea and changed it to continental drift. So um, at the end of the day, they have a huge bias. The idea of plate tectonics today is such a deeply ingrained idea that many people assume that the concept is completely proved and that the only obvious way to explain the Earth's crust Many creationists, and I include myself, would suggest that plate tectonics is indeed the best explanation, though we would not accept the evolutionary timescale, suggesting that the tectonic movement must have been rapid and catastrophic in the early days of the flood. However, the deep time evolutionary version of plate tectonics owes much to the work of Alfred Wegener, who published his ideas of continental drift in 1912, but whose ideas were not widely accepted until the 1950s. However, Wegener was not the originator of the idea. The first published account of this concept was a book called La Création et ses Mystères de Voyer, The Creation and Its Mysteries Unveiled, by the French geologist Antonio Snyder Pellegrini. Pellegrini noticed two important facts. First, examining a map of the world, he realized that the continents of the world are similar to a jigsaw. It's possible to move the continents so that they appear to join together. Pellegrini hypothesized that the continents had originally been joined, but had moved apart, and in support of this idea, he cited the similarity between plant fossils in Europe and North America. It is possible that his theories did not catch on immediately because of his ideas on the mechanism for continental drift. Pellegrini thought that the continents were forced to drift apart by the onset of the worldwide flood reported in Genesis.